Hi guys, hope you're well. I'm just going to do a little different video today. I just want to show you a few projects that I have made watching some video tutorials here on YouTube. And these are just five projects I want to show you and some of my favourites. The first one is Folk Metal and it was a video made by Dawn. Dawn5377 and I'll pop all the links in the description box over here. I made these um, three by three little cards at Christmas time and I used them for gift cards and I was really really happy how they turned out uh, and if you can see there's the folk metal just by using silver embossing powder and versamark pack. And I thought they were really, really cute. And I used the snowflake from the Season of Joy stamp set, which is a Stampin' Up set. The next um, card that I made was watching a video by Chicken Scratch, which is Angie, and it's a popsicle card. And I thought these were really, really cute. And as we were in, still in summer here in, in Australia, I thought it really suited. And I used the Tartan Tangy set by um, stamping up and it, I've used the orange and I've used only orange and was white cardstock and all you need to do is just push down the ribbon a little bit and it opens the card and then you close it up and to keep it closed you just pop the ribbon up and I thought that was super super cute and my young friends thought they were great um, this one was also by Angie and it was how to cover a notepad and this is the just this plain old spiral notepad and I use lots of different ribbons and this set is also by Stampin' Up and it's a Simply Said stamp set. So I thought that was great and my friends received them in their Christmas parcels so I was really really happy. They turned a blank, plain old boring notepad into something quite special, I think. The next um, project that I really liked was from the Pink Dog blog, and that was a post-it note purse. So it hangs like a little purse, and then you open it up, and there's your post-its. And I used Embrace Life stamp set also by Stamping Up. And the colours are chocolate chip and groovy garba. And I used some glitter on the flowers and I really really enjoyed it and it was so easy to make this. I should give it a go and make a great little gift. Thank you little gift. My mum's eyeing it off so I might have to give her that. The next project. I loved it but it was one of the biggest challenges in a craft project I've done in my life. But I think it was worth it. This was a video tutorial by the Stamp Goddess and it was a cupcake. Um, it's scrapbook paper, ribbon, flowers, more ribbon, ribbon, flowers and ribbon. And I've got cherry on top. I didn't have a uh, red bread, so I used the crystal bread. But the great thing about this is you lift up the cherry and out pops your gift card. And so you take it out and it's just your styrofoam ball. And you slide it back in. This took me seven hours to make with um, help from my husband, which he said he would never ever again help me. It was stressful because I've never used a hot glue gun before and I'll never again. What a headache. But I think the results were well worth it. Especially when I was up to two o'clock in the morning finishing it. Left it on the kitchen table. The next morning my three year old thought it was a real cupcake. So his response to that and his confusion was well worth it. And so yeah, I really think it's a, um, it's super cute and, and I just love it and I would never give it away because I put my heart, soul and sweat, blood and tears into this, literally. So that 
that's a few of the projects I have made by watching some great video tutorials. I'll just zoom out and I'll pop them all back. Usually I give things away that I make but with the cupcake, no, that is, that's mine. <laughs> so there you have it, some great tutorials, some from some great YouTube members and I'll put the link in the description box and go and check those guys out. But anyway guys, have a great weekend and if you're in a cold part of the world, send us some cold because it's a really hot winter summer's day here I should say and we've had no rain for 75 days and I'm so over summer. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Till next time take care. Bye bye.